welcome back, guys, to part two, part two, part two of uh, the Tom Waits discography, if you will, here, the appreciation of Mr. Tom Waits. So let's just jump right back into it. This is, if you will, where Tom Waits, the artist, in my opinion, starts developing that sound, the different instrumentation, the voice, everything. So let's dive in. All right, we're going to kick it off this piece. Tom Waits, Tom Waits, excuse me, Swordfish Trombones. This was probably the lead up into his, like I said, dipping into that more crazy instrumentation. A lot of, uh, I'm telling it back here, brass work thrown in on this album. It goes the front to back, great mood on this album. Little picture there. And of course, probably the big hit off this particular album, 16 uh, Shells from 30 out 6. It's the great goddamn song. There's countless, countless songs on this album that are just badass. So, uh, this is might where people might want to start. If you haven't checked out uh, Tom Waits, maybe this might be a good spot now to start getting in, checking in some shit. Tom Waits, Swordfish, Trombones. Alright, moving on. Probably to his. Most popular, well known album, probably I would say. And this is uh, Tom Waits, Rain Dogs. Two copies of this. One's a older OG copy, one's a newer copy. Uh, so, from start to finish here, just uh, awesome instrumentation on this. Again, awesome atmosphere. Really diving into some weird sounding uh, production and shit all over this album. Nice picture of Tom Air wearing uh, roach stomper shoes, looking like Ron Perlman and shit. Uh, just good songs all over this. Starting it off with Singapore and the Clap Hands, which is just a great goddamn song. Uh, Jockey Full of Bourbon, Tango Tilda Sore, great goddamn song. Just uh, start to finish, just a uh, great album, man. Great album. Anything special about this? Nope. Just standard. So, yeah, some Tom Waits, Rain Dogs. Awesome. Killer. Alright. Moving on to, again, one of my favorite Tom Waits albums. This is Tom Waits' Frank's Wild Years. And Operacci Romantico in two acts. Just atmosphere on this, I think, is just killer. This is probably one of my uh, favorite albums of his, just atmosphere-wise. Just It has just like a just nice dark, moody atmosphere all over it. Uh, Hang on, St. Christopher, straight to the top. Blow, wind, blow, temptation. Innocent when you dream. Yesterday is hair. Uh, side two, two songs that just stand out that I love on side two. Straight to the top, Vegas, and I'll take New York. Uh, those two songs in particular put me in that mindset of, uh, if you will, Vegas and its heyday, you know, mobster days, if you will, and shit like that. Just like you're there catching like a nice live show at that time. It's just awesome. Nothing else special about the inside. No. So this is, uh, like I said, Tom Waits, Frank's Wild Years, awesome album. Check it out if you have not yet. Okay. Ooh. Again, one of my favorite albums from this man. I say this a lot. I'm going to continue to keep saying this. But this really is. This is uh, Tom Waits, Blood Money. Start to finish again, just fucking phenomenal goddamn album. Again, instrumentation, atmosphere, everything about this album is just awesome. It goes to the back, Mr. Tom Waits. Again, this album just kicks off beautifully. Misery's the river of the world. Everything goes to hell. All the world is green, which is just a beautiful fucking song. God's away on business. Knife chase, which is an instrumental, but that goddamn instrumental is badass. Put you in like that. Like old school Scooby Doo cartoon vibe or something like that. I just love that fucking track. The course, uh, Starving in the Belly of the Wheel. Classic. Classic, classic. Inside here, lyrics. There goes the other side pictures. I think actually this final has a cool label on it. Yeah, it does. I'll show this one. Mr. Waits there. So again, uh. Another album to check out if you haven't from Tom Waits. This one here is killer. Tom Waits, Blood Money. Fucking awesome. Alright, moving on. This album came out the same time as Blood Money. 
this was this wasn't you know this was a separate release. Uh, Allison uh, Allison Chains Alice Tom Waits <laughs> Allison Chains. This uh has that if you will like fairy tale vibe going on with it. Just nice fucking songs. I think this might have been uh, for something. I think for like a play or something. He was supposed to do with this if I remember correctly. Here's the back lyrics. Cool little picture on that side. Anything special with the labeling on this one? It just has another cool picture of Tom. Just chilling out. But yeah, like I said, Tom White's Alice. On Alice in Chains. Alice. Fucking uh, awesome shit. Like I said, great fucking uh, feel to this album too. It's like I said, like a fairy tale. Or like a, like I said, play uh, type vibe going on with this. It's real nice. Nice ballad songs on there too. Especially Alice that kicks it off. Alright, moving on to probably one of his darker albums, I'd say. Uh, just, like I said, awesome weird instrumentation over this album as well. This is Tom Waits. Bone Machine. Here's the back. Again, uh, just awesome songs over this. Earth Died Screaming. Uh, Dirt in the Ground. All Stripped Down. Uh, Jesus Gonna Be Here. In the Coliseum. Murder in the Red Barn. Yeah, man, it's just a great goddamn album. Anything special about the inside? Up oh, lyrics. There she. There we go. Oop, get that there. There we go. He said Tom Waits, Bone Machine. He said one of business getting darker, more atmospheric, and maybe a little industrial vibe going on in this album, shit like that. Awesome shit. Check it out. All right, here we go. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, some Tom Waits, real gone, fucking, this is again probably in my top three, because I've got so many I love, I can't help it, I just love Tom Waits, here goes the back, gatefold action on this, and this little pig, double LP, uh, I got these cool little uh, jackets here. Blurry picture of Tom. Him holding his little guitar there. The other picture. There you go. I don't think there's anything special about the label. Let me check though, just to make sure. Uh -huh. Kind of like that blurry Tom Waits face again. Yeah, Tom Waits are real gone. Awesome songs over this hoist. Uh, uh, Rain, Green, Tomorrow. I mean, there's just so many good songs on here, man. Yeah, another awesome album from Tom Waits to check out. Killer shit. Okay, moving on. This is probably one of his, like I say again, most pop, one of his most popular albums. Tom Waits, Mule Variations. This has sometimes like a little country feel to it, but it's no means like a country album. Just had like certain songs have like a little vibe, a little country vibe here and there on them. Just the back. Gatefold. Lyrics. Love gatefolds like that with lyrics on the inside. Anything special about this? Nope. Anything special about this one? No. Yeah, again, another just great song, man. Big in Japan kicks that off. Low side of the road, get behind the mule. House where nobody lives. Great goddamn song. Great fucking song. What's he building? Which is a cool ass song. It's like, uh, if you will, there's like uh, the neighbors are like talk talking, like you know, what's he building in there and shit. But it's like Tom Waits is talking about it from like the perspective of like the neighbors and like uh, there's like power tools and all kinds of like different crazy sound and shit going on in the background. It's it's pretty interesting. Uh, let's see, we got uh, 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 Ch -ch -ch Eyeball Kid, Chocolate Jesus, uh, Georgia Lee, Filipino Box Spring Hog, and uh, Come On Up to the House. Another great uh, closing track to an album. Tom Waits is very good at that, in my opinion. Making great closing fucking tracks on albums. And that one there is no exception. 
Okay, moving on. Tom Waits, Glitter and Doom, live. Again, another live album by Mr. Tom Waits. There's the back. Tom on stage there, looking all crazy and shit. This is a gatefold, I think. Yes, it is. Pictures. Double LP that comes on this cool little inserts. Just the other side. The other one. Here we go. Again, great album, uh, great live album. Yeah, this has a particular song that uh, ain't on other stuff that's on this box set, which I'll tell you now, I do not have a goddamn box set. It's like five, eight hundred dollars or some shit like that. It's ridiculous. I I can't afford that, nor will I pay that much for that. But uh, this uh, first song kicks it off with Cindy uh, ain't going down. It's in the is uh, in that box set. Man, is that a goddamn killer song? That was one of the main reasons why I got this because all the other songs on here, pretty much, I have off his uh, album, other uh, albums here, but. Even though I would have bought it anyway, so I'm a Tom Waits collector. I don't know if I'm trying to kid here, but yeah, that song in particular, I was very happy to get that. So I'll put that in the links below if anyone's haven't heard that particular song by Tom Waits. It's a killer, even if never it's done live. Like, it's just awesome. So if you want to check it out. All right, moving on to the last one, guys. So there's my Tom Waits collection here. And this is uh, his last one, of course, that he bought a couple years back. Tom Waits, Bad As Me. Again, I really enjoyed this album from start to finish. Chicago, great fucking way to kick off the album. Talking at the same time, Face the Highway, uh, Bad as Me, uh, Hell Broke Loose, great fucking song. Uh, of course, uh, New Year's Eve again, great way to close off a goddamn album. Still just very good at closing out albums with songs, in my opinion. Um, and of course, any of didn't know, you know, he had like uh, countless, like, you know, Good musicians featured on a lot of his albums, like Flea, Les Claypool, uh, Keith Richards, you know, cats like that and shit. Uh, this comes with a pretty nice little booklet. There goes Tom there. There goes the back. It's mainly just all lyrics with like you know, a couple pictures thrown in here and shit. Let's give you a quick little show on here. Yeah, that's gonna do it guys from my Tom Waits collection. So uh, I hope you guys I uh, enjoyed this. I hope uh, maybe some of you guys never heard of Tom Waits. Give him a chance and dig into him. I'm telling you man, if you give him a chance and you know, if don't grab you the first time because it might be, you know, like I said, his sound or his voice, how rough it is and shit like that. It doesn't grab you right away. Like I said, I'll be afraid to come back to it, man. Because once Tom, once he grabs your heart, man, he gets in there and grabs you by the cockles with some of these just killer goddamn songs. It's just a great, great, great multi-instrumentationalist and great songwriter, man. I mean, he, he, he can do it. So, that's going to do it, guys. It was like I said, I just want to pay tribute uh, to a man that's still out there. He's up there in age, but he's hopefully, you know, I heard he's supposed to be coming with another album soon here. So, I hope that comes comes to light and happens. But if not, hey, man. A lot of work by this man, except I'm still missing a couple of his albums. I'll get them down the road here one day, hopefully, but thanks, Tom. Thanks, Jens, guys, and like I say, don't be afraid to go back and pay some homage, respect to, you know, maybe some artists you haven't listened to in a while. You know, I mean, maybe you're a metalhead, like, you know what, I haven't listened to old Megadeth or old Anthrax or whatever have you in a long time. You know, I mean, hey, don't take those guys for granted, because one day they ain't going to be here, man, so before that happens, go back and you know, pay them some respects because they deserve it. They, they, a lot of these bands put their work in just because, you know, times change. I don't think we shouldn't forget about, you know, what they did and who they are and what the impact they had in the music world and maybe, you know, in your parents' lives, our lives, whatever have you. So that's going to do it, guys. As always, rock on.